Hey everyone. So I had a request for a black and white painting. Um, so I'm just going to do a flip cup, but I am going to add some Creative Inspirations Pearlescence. So it's not just plain white, white. But we are going to start with white. And all my paints have silicone in them. So that'll give you an idea of um, how a flip cup can come out with just two colors. The pearlescence will give it a little bit of um, contrast so it won't be so white white. And I am going to hit my corners with some black that does not have silicone in it. I don't have a lot in here, so we'll use them. Corners are such a pain in the butt. We're going to end up pouring all this off anyway. Okay. Messy already. <laughs> and I did not spray the cup with WD-40. Because I think I would like some bigger cells with the silicone that's already mixed in my paint. We just have to wait a minute longer. And while we're waiting, I'll just hit this edge. I'm ramping up for my vacation. I'll be away for two weeks. I'm going to try to shoot a bunch of videos before I go, so you'll have something to watch. I can upload every day when I go out to lunch with my mom. Okay. Pearlescence is pretty. It looks almost gray. real quick. Got black all over my arm. <laughs> there, I wipe it off so I don't do it again. Okay. moving it towards the corner. We have a lot of black there. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and cup this edge. Because I don't want to have all black. a little bit. Maybe a little more. She's 
sure we make a pretty background for something. So I'm going to go ahead and set this one aside. And we're going to do another one, but I want to torch this first. Messy, messy, messy. So I got a little grainy there on the um, black mixing with the white through here. So let's do one more. Let's do another. Okay, same concept. Except on this one, I might use more white. Don't run out yet. Okay, now we're good. Just like to get that edge. Okay, I'm gonna grab another cup. Let's start with black this time. one with black. Might as well use it all. I have lots of these little cups of black sitting here, so I overmixed this weekend when I was mixing paint. <laughs> you get to watching a I watch movies when I'm mixing paint, so I didn't realize how much I put in a cup until it was too late. <laughs> and I sold a couple of paintings um, last night, and one of them was Video 22, one of my favorite paintings, so it was sad to, sh to box her up, but I'm happy she's getting a new home. And if you're still um, interested, I'm still running my 25% off sale on my Etsy store. The link is below. And just use the code BIRTHDAY, and it's good until June 1st. That's good. We got a little more white on this one. So these I could probably sell as a set. Let it set for a minute. White has a tendency to sink, but so does black. Um, it takes a lot of pigment to make white. And that's probably why it sinks so much, it's heavier. Okay, let's tilt. Some great, 
find him there. And we're going to get a lot more because the black's going to come up through that white. here. I'm trying to stretch it out a little bit. That's what paint pouring is, messy. I don't know how you girls do it without gloves. I really don't. I can't imagine all that paint under my fingernails. <laughs> it would drive me crazy. Nothing wants to come up. It's there. I can see it. gray. <laughs> They're tiny little gray ones. So that's the effect of using more white than black. a side by side comparison here. I'm going to give this one another torch now that the paint has been sitting for a little bit. It's starting to pop up on its own, but we'll see. Some more air bubbles there. There is the difference when you're using black and white. Starting with black, starting with white, um, layering, but you can get two different effects using the same amount of paint, just layering it different. So that's it for that one. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please click below and click on the bell. You'll get notified when I upload my next video. Click like and share. Share, share, share. We're getting close to our 10,000 subscribers. Uh, visit me on Facebook at Christina Welch Art. My Etsy shop is Christina Welch Art. And shop with me on Amazon. We have everything on there now. I did another upgrade today. Added a few more things that I found cheaper. And um, all the links are below. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to me through Christina Welch Art. Thank you. Have a good night.